From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, here on Earth, we got pretty good rain chances over the next 24 hours. Temperatures taking a plummet. Meanwhile, in space, check this out. This is Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster that he launched earlier today. This is actually a, a live picture from earlier. I have links to this live, but this is incredible. Using the Falcon 9 heavy rocket package, uh, actually launched uh, a car and a fake astronaut. We're calling him the Space Band in Space, and this was earlier today going around the Earth, and believe it or not, this thing may be circling around the Earth for a billion years. It's in a pretty high orbit above the Earth. Just incredible camera shots here. Elon Musk certainly having a flair for uh, certainly uh, very interesting shots here and uh, very uh, imaginative, imaginative mind for sure. I thought that was just so cool circling around the Earth. I got live links through Twitter and Facebook if you want to see what the car is doing right now but it will be circling around the Earth for quite a while. Meanwhile, you see the clouds down in Earth, and then here we have the clouds and showers going across the area. So uh, on and off showers tonight. Heavier rains up toward the Arc Latex. On, on the flip side, we have frozen precipitation up toward the uh, Red River Valley. So behind the system, pretty cold. And here we got pretty active lightning pattern here showing up as well. And we may see some showers and storms tomorrow, but mostly lighter showers tonight. We're seeing activity uh, from uh, anywhere from uh, Evangeline, Parish, heavier activity over toward Point Coupee Parish. And then uh, farther to the south we go, we got mostly light rain shower activity across Vermilion Parish, but more on the way. A few more showers right along the Jeff Davis uh, Cameron border. And then farther to the east, if you're heading out across the basin, it is on the wet side with more shower activity uh, as you go farther to the east. Lafayette Parish, just a few spotty showers at this hour. Uh, again, as you go farther to the east, you can see much more in the way of activity with some cloud of ground lightning as well. So here we go with the predictive radar. I think that activity stays scattered through this evening. Uh, the line share of the action stays well to the north of us overnight tonight, but it gradually works its way southward. There's the front, and behind the front, we're going to see rain for tomorrow afternoon. So here comes the cool front, mild initially tomorrow, mid-60s, but then we drop into the lower 50s by lunchtime. So a big change, and we might even see upper 40s by drive time with on and off rainfall and that cool air staying with us Thursday looking to be a pretty nice day. So let's take a look at the European model, which indicates much the same through tomorrow. Thursday, the best day in the next 10 days. Some showers Friday, better rain chances developing for the weekend. But again, uh, Saturday, Saturday evening, Sunday, some locally heavy rainfall possible. And then maybe a break for a Lundi Gras. But then as we go into Mardi Gras, we might see some showers coming back, starting out in the 40s, maybe finishing out somewhere in the 60s. Yesterday, it looked like the 70s. It's going to look like something different tomorrow. But this is the bottom line. A cumulative rainfall through tomorrow. About an inch of rain on the way. Half inch in many spots. Up to an inch. A little more than that. Heavier rains off to the north. Then we get that next weather system. Saturday, we start adding to the numbers. Then we get into Sunday. The numbers pile up. And then we'll have more wet weather mid to late next week. So over the next nine or ten days, five to six inches of rain is not out of the question. That's what the GFS was telling us last night. Now the European model on the same thing. Temperature 60s in the morning, dropping into the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon, lower 40s tomorrow night through Thursday morning, even upper 30s off to the north, and then we warm up to near 60 for Thursday afternoon. So mild, muggy evening with on and off showers. We'll keep rain chance at about 40% most of the night. It picks up as we get closer to daybreak tomorrow. We'll go with an 80% chance of showers and some embedded storms. Maybe some storms storms could produce a little hail, but not likely. 60s early, but dropping into the 40s by day's end, so pack the jackets and sweaters. Cool weather for Thursday, Friday warming back up, and we may be threatening 70 again this weekend. And then on top of that, a 70% chance of showers and storms Saturday and Sunday. Don't ask me at what times. I know we got all the parades going, but we do think we'll see good rain chances both of those days. But like the Rio parade, maybe you get lucky. Get lucky, and yeah. You catch the throws in between the showers. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Speaking of those rain chances, possible changes 